Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for teas. Starting today, you and I will begin to work on the math portion of the teas. We'll be solving all the math problems, including the problems that appeared in the two exams that are found in this book. It is important that you have this book. If you do not own this book, purchase one immediately. It is called The Study Manuals for the T's. It is published by ATI, the same folks who give the real exam. ATI, look for this logo at the bottom there. You must have this, you must have this book in front of you in order for you to be able to follow my work. We'll begin our work now on, day number, uh, on page number 50. The math portion of the uh, math portion in this book begins on page number 50 and today is our lesson number one of course. Let's take a look at the very first problem. The very first problem deals with a concept known as known as PEMDAS, which stands for uh, which uh, which is a mnemonic that one uses to remind oneself of the order of operation. P is for parenthesis, E is for exponents. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. They must be done in this order. And the mnemonic that one typically uses is this one. Please excuse my dear aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear aunt Sally Pandas, as you can see there. Please excuse my dear aunt Sally. Parentheses are to be done first. Then the exponents, listen carefully, parenthesis first, then the exponents. Multiplication and divisions have the same priorities. Multiplication and division have the same priority. Similar, similarly, addition and subtraction have the same priority. Of course, they have the same priority. For example, for example, if somebody tells us 10 divided by 5 times 2, well, we know 10 divided by 5 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. We get the answer of 4. And of course, we, if we would have gotten, we would have gotten the same answer had we done 10 times 2 divided by 5. 10 times 2 is 20, 20 divided by 5 is 4. As you can see, it has the same priority. So when you have multiplication and division, it doesn't matter which one do you, do you, you do first. Multiplication and divisions have the same priority. Similarly, addition and subtraction have the same priority. The order does not matter whether you subtract first or add first. makes no difference. For example, for example 3 plus 4 minus, uh, my, my, minus 5 it's going to give the same answer as 3 minus 5 plus 4. The answer is not going to change. In both cases, we're going to get the answer of 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 and positive 4 is going to give us 2, which is exactly what we get here. But the important part to keep in mind is the parentheses and the exponent. If you see any parentheses, they must be done first. And if you see more than one parenthesis in a given expression, the innermost, exp innermost parenthesis has to be done first. You work your way out from the innermost parenthesis. Let's take a look at the very first one. The very first problem, it says, simplify the expression. Now well, listen, before we actually solve the problem, let's digress there for a second. Can you tell me an expression, an expression as opposed, as opposed to what? As opposed to what? Why, why do they refer to these uh, things that they give you in the problem as expression? As opposed to what? The answer is an expression, an expression as opposed to an equation. For example, the very first one that they give us is this one here. 4, 4 plus 3 times 5 plus 2. This is an expression. This is not an equation. X x plus 2, this is an expression. It is not an equation. Why is it not an equation? Well, it's not an equation because an equation is so called because an equation contains an equal sign. There is no equal sign here. Equation must contain equal sign which equates the two quantities on the two sides of the equation. This is not an equation. This is an expression. On the other hand, if we had x plus 2 equals 5, voila, voila, now we have an equation. Now we have an equation. Make sure you do not use the wrong terminology. I see this thing over and over again where people refer to an exp uh, expressions as equations. These are not equations, these are expressions. These people who give you the exam, they are very picky about the language. As you will see, as you begin to practice, as you begin to prepare for the exam, 
you will see that they are extremely picky about uh, about the terminologies, about the language. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. So as we already know, we have to do the parentheses first, and we do the innermost parentheses first. 5 plus 2 is 7. So here what we get is 3 times 7 plus 4. 3 times 7 is 21 plus a 4 is going to give us 25. And that was that was number 1. That was 2.1. 2.1. The next one says 3 minus 1 squared plus 6. Again, simplify the expression is the instruction. 2.2. 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1. 3 minus, rather, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4, 4 plus 6 is going to be 10. Let's move on then. Number 3. As you can see, they start out very simple, very straightforward problem. But uh, trust me, as we go higher in the higher in the book here, uh, they'll get more difficult. It starts with uh, page number 50, the math portion, as you can see here. Today is our day number one. That's the number one on page number 50 we are. And it goes up to 110. And there are 60 pages. And, and by the time you get to the uh, second half of the thing, it's going to get a little bit more complicated, a little bit more challenging. It's not difficult. It's just You just have to concentrate. That's all. That's all it is. It's a matter of concentration. If you are going to make any mistakes, most of the times it's due to the lack of concentration due to the slip in the concentration. Number three. And of course that goes also for the rest of the exam. We just we are just doing the math part, but of course it all is equally true about obviously science portion and the uh, grammar portion and the reading portion and everything else, particularly the science portion. Number three. Two times eight divided by four times two. Or well, two times eight we know. 2 times 8 we will know is 16, 16 divided by 4 times 2 is 8, if here 16 divided by 8 if we were to continue here we would get here, this here, if we were to continue here, here we would have gotten, we would have gotten 2, but this is wrong, this is wrong and we'll find out in a second why it is wrong. Why is it wrong? We would have gotten 2 here and it would have been correct if we had we would have gotten 2 if if we had the same exact thing 2 times 8 divided by 4 times 2 what is missing here you see what is missing here is that we did 2 times 8 first in order for us to be able to do 2 times 8 first and then use that answer and then those this part separately, we would we would have had to we would have had we would have had had to I can't, I can't speak. We would have had to have Yes, I think that is correct. We would have had to have the two parentheses. We do not have the parentheses here. Which is why we have to go straight in sequence here, simple multiplication and division as we just learned a little while ago. They are in the strict order, uh, they, are, they, they have the same, rather not strict order, multiplication and division as we learned a little while ago. They have the same priority. In other words, it doesn't matter which one do we do first. So we just go in strict order from left to right. That's it. That's what we need to do. This would have been the right answer if we had the parentheses. Now notice how I'm pronouncing it. Not parentheses, but parentheses. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to digress here for a second. For whatever it's worth, uh, it's coming to my mind. I want to digress here and I want to share something with you. Which will come handy in the English portion because they do check spellings, spelling, grammar. As I said, these people are very picky, very nitpicky about the language. Of course parenthesis which is singular. I've been pronouncing these things as parentheses. Not parenthesis but parentheses as in P-A-R-E-N-T-H-E-S-E-S -E 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 which is the plural version and it is to be pronounced as parentheses. 
these are the small things that get to uh, get uh, get that get some people during the exam because we are not used to dealing with this thing in our daily lives. I have a ten-year-old who tells me that the favorite national pastimes of the Americans is to butcher the English language mercilessly. And as an American, you may go around asserting your right to do just that, that is, to butcher the English language in your daily lives, which, as we say in the desert, is fine and dandy, but not in this exam. Not in this exam. These people, these people will not broke it. They, they will not broke it. If you're interested in learning of the word brook, we learned this, well I shouldn't say we because we just met here, today is our first day. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, you will find on my channel some vocabulary videos and I do remember I'm looking at my uh, vocabulary cards here very quickly. If you just give me a second, I'll tell you which day we learned the word brook, which day we covered it. But day number four, what, what do you know? Just type in my name, Kashwani, and then vocabulary words, vocabulary words, day four, and learn the word brook, and understand the meaning of the word as, as, as we use here in the context. I said, they, they as in people who give it the exam, ATI, they will not brook it, will not brook you slaughtering the language like that, butchering the English language, as my boy tells me, mercilessly. They are very picky about this thing. Pay attention. This one simple thing will, 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 can make a difference of getting the question right or wrong. Because that's all they are looking for in the entire sentence. That's the only thing they are looking for. And if you miss it, you are done. Let's go on then. Again, simplify the following expression. These are the instructions. We are on exercises at the bottom there. The very first one is negative 2. Then we have 3 minus 5 plus 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 and a positive 2, they can cancel each other out. So we end up with negative 2 times 0. And 0 times anything is 0. So we get, just get a big fat 0. Number 2. Number 2. Two plus six times three. Two plus six times three. Again, this is where you have to pay attention. Okay, pay, pay very close attention. Listen to me very carefully. Let's write down the order of operation one more time. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, addition. Sorry, pandas. P E M D A S. Pandas. Parentheses, exponents. We have no parentheses here. Exponents. We have no exponents here. The next thing, the third thing in the in our in our order of operation is multiplication. If we see any multiplication, we must do that first. In other in other words, if you were to do two plus six times three, it would be wrong. Here, if you see any multiplication, we have to do that first. So six times three has to be done first. Six times three has to be done first. So we get two plus six times three, which is eighteen, and the answer is twenty. Answer is. 20. 24 would have been the wrong answer. 24 would have been the correct answer. 24 would have been the correct answer if we were given something like this. In this case, the answer would be 24. In this case, the answer would have been 24 because in this case, since we have parentheses around 2 and 6, 2 plus 6, that addition has to be done first because the parentheses is the first. Here, there, since there are no parentheses, we have to do the multiplication first. So we do 6 times 3 first. The 6, I, I don't know why I wrote it like that. I don't want you to read too much into it. That's what it is. That's the number three, the last one on the page. Twenty-four divided by three. Twenty-four divided by three times five. It has parentheses around it. Times five minus six plus two times seven minus 3. Again, we go in a strict order of operation. The very first one is the parenthesis. And since we have a parenthesis here, we have to take care of the parenthesis first. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So we get 8 times 5 minus 6 plus 2 times 7 minus 3. After the parenthesis, 
we have no exponents here, there are no exponents here. Next comes multiplication. If we see any multiplication, we must do that first. We see one multiplication here, and we see another one here. We have to take care of those multiplication first. 8 times 5 is 40, minus 6, 2 times 7 is 14, minus 3. And now we have addition and subtractions. It doesn't matter what order we go in. And it, even though it does not matter, the convention dictates, the, tra the tradition, the convention dictates that we go from left to right. And we're going to observe the convention. We're not going to observe it in breach. We're going to actually observe it. And we're going to follow the convention from left to right. 40 minus 6 is 34. 34 plus 14 minus 3. 34 plus 14 is 48. Minus 3 is going to give us 45. The answer is 45. That's it. I could continue. Let's do one more because on the, on the very next page, the question that they have is actually a very silly one. I don't know why it's there. Let's do the next one. I'm going to just do it here. It's a very silly uh, question here, which is 539 minus 58. Again, the only reason why you will get it wrong is because you're not paying attention. That's all. So 9 minus 8 is 1. And then here we have 3. We have 3. In order for us to subtract 5 from the 3, we have to borrow 1. As if, as if you didn't know all of this thing. I know it's very annoying, but uh, since it's there, we have to do it. Do every single problem. That's how you get used to it. You have no calculator in the exam. You not only need the accuracy, but you also need the speed. You must be able to do these questions accurately and efficiently. If you're going to take too long in the exam, you're done. So do the practice. Get used to it. 13 minus 5 is 8. And then this 5 becomes 4. So that was the next, next question. Let's see what do we have on the following page. We have three practice problems on the following page. I think we'll do them. I think we'll do them tomorrow. Okay? Bye now. I'll see you tomorrow on day two.